Hi there, it's Faye from Faye's World Media. This is my office, guys, behind the scenes. And in this video, I want to talk to you about Camel. I invited Eden Liu from Camel. She is a community manager, a content creator there, and she runs the Camel YouTube channel. But why invite her? Because she is here as someone from the product team to demonstrate how you can turn this thing I'm holding right now, your iPhone, your Android phone, into a top-notch webcam. Not only that, there are so many features you can leverage from within Camel. It's free to download and their premium version, which many of you probably don't even need to upgrade to, it's only $4.99. That's $4.99 a month, believe it or not. Most importantly, I'm excited about the overlay feature coming from Camel. That's right. If you don't want to do a full-on PowerPoint presentation, you don't want to share your keynote, that's it. You can use Camel to have all sorts of overlays. On top of that, there are some AR features as well, augmented reality, check it out. So play around. If you're a content creator like me or you're a live streamer, this is gonna be a life changer. In fact, this piece of content was created right from my live stream with Eden. I think it's so important to kind of slice this one out so that you can watch her demonstrate everything in real time and see how good it looks. So please let me know in the comments below if you find this helpful. And I've also included a link for you to check out Camel forever free if you want to using the link in description if we haven't met it's Faye. i'm a content creator here on youtube i help content creators to work smarter create multiple revenue streams so that they get to do what they love in the long run thanks for watching and i'll see you at the end of the video look at how good eden looks with her background and um how smooth the transitions are yeah but so this is the camo mm -hmm. interface you can hide these as, as needed so you can see more of yourself or if you need to see more of your adjustments we have people that don't know that you can actually hide these then only need like one feature and they're like how do you get it mm. to go away but basically we have all of these settings on the right hand side that are your basic camera lighting and image adjustments you have your white balance you can shift it to be warmer or cooler i like to be right in the middle a little bit um, brightness, saturation, contrast. I have it set perfectly so that it makes my hair look really shiny and also really dark and black. So you can really fine tune your image to make it look exactly how you want. That's the video superpower that we say is camo. Um, but it's not just the adjustments, the zoom and pan also super useful tool. Like I said, if if I happen to leave some of my lunch in the background, I could just easily zoom and pan so you can't see it. But I have my setup framed perfectly today. <laughs> well, look at that. I didn't know there's a little touchpad thing, the gray bar in the lower left-hand corner. I had no idea you can actually reposition the framing of the yeah. video. Oh, I did not know this. No, it's that's also, I will say, we are not, we don't have a huge video library showcasing all of the ways to maximize camo, which is something we are working on. We can do a lot better at presenting these features to you guys. So that is on our to-do list. But um, in the meantime, that's why I make appearances like this. So I can sort of like walk people through all of the coolest like features of camo. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, I guess I'll just go ahead and walk through a few of the other features. Um, sure. That's cool. Yeah, just like, absolutely. Yeah. So like Faye said earlier, you can use all the lenses on your phone. Um, I go selfie lens. I have mine pointing towards a BTS <laughs> photo card. Um, I love like going ultra wide to be able to show off more of my setup. Wow. If it was cleaner, obviously, but telephoto also, it's going to get really up close and personal, but you know, this could be useful if you had like a dermatologist appointment, they can see every single pore. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so that gives you a lot of versatility in your, in your different camera angles, you can show as much or as little of your setup as you want. Camo is also really great as a secondary shot. I love to say for people that do have the professional DSLR mirrorless setups, um, if you have a top-down shot, a, a little iPhone is much easier to mount than a full camera setup. Um, and yeah, you have all these resolution options. Of course, we want to keep it at 1080 because we like to look nice and sharp here in camo. Mm -hmm. um, and also one of my favorite undersold features, which really plays towards your sort of like Zoom webinar um, mm -hmm. audience is our overlays. So we created this overlay gallery that we have like sort of built in mm -hmm. um, 
built-in overlays for you to use, but you can also import your own. And my favorite thing about that is that you can set up keyboard shortcuts to switch between them easily. So like I just imported these in here today. Like I'm not using anything else other than keyboard shortcuts to mm -hmm. run this sort of mini slideshow, which I think is just one of our most undersold, really, really cool, really useful features if you're in a meeting um, mm -hmm. and want to like, you know, stunt for the bosses a little bit and be like, look, I have actually like slides and you didn't want to do a full PowerPoint or keynote. You can just use camo, switch between them mm -hmm. using keyboard shortcuts. And yeah, that's sort of the just rundown of most of the general camo features. Um, but if there's any specific use cases that anyone wants to know about, feel free to ask and I'm happy to elaborate. Awesome. I love the demo. Thank you so much. Eden, and for anybody uh, who's watching right now or later, feel free to leave us comments. I do monitor my comments on YouTube. And uh, yeah, Eden, show me one more time how you uh, place the overlay again. Uh, which button was that? Sure, so the overlays are in the left control panel right near the middle. Um, if you open up the gallery, it sort of gives you a preview of what each one is gonna look like. So mm -hmm. as you guys can see, I have, um, wait, can you guys see the overlay window right now? uh overlay window i i can't okay uh, yeah. I, it's supposed to have a pop-up window with an overlay gallery that i'm looking at in camo but i guess something with the screen share isn't letting me show it um i see you might yeah. have to do a, like an add source thing uh towards the bottom and Let's you know see. so you can do a screen do share you can do an add source to drop a new window there if you want to these I, you just favorite them and it'll assign a, short, a keyboard shortcut number to them. And that's how you can switch between them using keyboard shortcuts. It's control um, like one, two, three, four, and five is what I have mine set up to be because it's easy that way. Wow, very cool. So I know that like, I remember being able to use Camo for free for a long time. Could we talk a bit about pricing? And pricing is kind of hard to find on a Camo site, which I love, by the way. So tell oh, us about sorry about that. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> So we have a few different pricing options. Um, the So I'll talk about the free version, first of all. The free sure. version actually is already enough to give people a pretty big upgrade in camera quality. It mm -hmm. only lets you go up to 720p, but if you are using like Zoom a lot of the time, Zoom compresses your quality anyway. Mm -hmm. So even just using your iPhone camera at 720, you'll see a major upgrade between the built-in webcam versus using your iPhone. Um, so that is free. The free version also comes with all of our AR modes, which I will just like switch between a few. Um, we have, we partnered with Snap last year to create these. Nice. Sort of, um, you know, what? different lenses. You can, you know, I think this is like really good for like raising your hand in Zoom. Um, we have like a invisible filter, which if you don't want to be on screen during your Zoom oh call. <laughs> How did you turn those on? <laughs> it's it's just in the modes like and these are all available in the free version um yeah all of the, like we really oh. had kind of fun with these <laughs> oh i that's amazing i can't believe i haven't explored yeah. these yet i'm a big fan of this one it's nice and subtle but you know yeah it's still, it's still pretty cool but um yeah so all of the, these are available in the free version um, um with for camo take off the watermark also in the free version which a lot of people don't know it's just i think people don't know that you have to try to take off the watermark they just assume you can't but yeah mm -hmm. in the free version you're actually you're just able to take off the watermark we wanted it to be widely usable even mm -hmm. for free so that's the free version and then the pro version gives you all of the cool features that you just saw um and we have a monthly subscription option which is 4.99 a month yearly for $39.90 a month or a lifetime subscription for $79.99 a month. So that's our pricing options. And if you think about it, a webcam is going to cost you at least one, a good webcam is going to cost you at least $150 to $200. So mm -hmm. $80 is you can unlock the power of your webcam, get all the cool adjustments and also get all of the new features we add without any additional cost for life. Whoa. Uh, that's amazing. All right, we got a first question. I'm hearing iPhone a lot. Is Camel compatible with other Android devices? Yes. So we are compatible with Android. This is, we just sort of put our Android into a public open beta last fall. I will be perfectly honest with you guys. We're not 
we don't have as many features for Android as we do with iPhone. Like we don't have the AR modes yet. We don't have portrait mode yet, but like it is available and it is for free right now on the Google Play Store while it's in beta. So please go check it out. It's, it's free to try for Android users. So I, my best recommendation is to just give it a try. And I actually have one of my friends, um, Ella Glasgow of Beyond Virtual Events. She prefers using her Android camera because she likes the way the Pixel um, color palette looks compared to the iPhone. And she's used both and she's like, sorry, I know you guys are iPhone, team iPhone, but I like the Android better. And I'm like, you know, whatever works, different people have different preferences. And that's why we wanted to expand to Android and Windows is so more people can unlock the power of their smartphone cameras. Yeah, I love that.